our Father in heaven. We just acknowledge today your presence with us right now. And Father, we pray even as you have ordained the covenant of marriage that you would rest with your blessings on Elijah and Krista in their marriage and in their covenant and commitment to one another. We just ask all of that in the name of your son, Jesus. Amen. So I had this plan to document this journey so that I would never forget it. But like many of my plans, I didn't follow through, so I had to play catch up. Man, do I owe Lauren. Somehow, that small mention of your name caught me and I ran with it. In her brief description, I knew I wanted to see what this Elijah guy was all about. You stuck around in this crazy head of mine. I knew from the first moment I saw her. Uh, that's real cheesy and, and kind of corny, but it's, uh, it's the truth. She set herself apart from the rest of the people I knew. Uh, it was, you know, her heart for people. That was the first thing that I, I noticed about her was just how kind and, and tender-hearted she was. And I knew that somebody that could care for other people in a time of need that maybe didn't want it or uh, didn't like it, that, you know, that's what better example of the love of Christ than, than that. So when two people come together and decide that this is the person the Lord has ordained for my life, and they become husband and wife, that is the most intimate, closest relationship on earth. In fact, the scripture says that it is parallel to the relationship of Christ and his church. <laughs> so fast forward to our first date, 9, 14, 19. Is this real life? Yep, we're doing this. Nerves are not my friends, but I managed to make it through. I remember sitting there thinking, God, his eyes are gorgeous. But it wasn't just about what they looked like, it was what I saw in them. I saw goodness, gentleness. Honesty and so much more. She could come across as very intimidating. Uh, that kind of threw me for a loop on our first date. I didn't really know what to expect. Um, but on the inside of that tough exterior she likes to, to put on, there's a, there's a very gentle soul. A lot of times today, the people look at marriage as a legal contract, but God never designed it for that simple. It's a covenant where you pledge your lives to one another. There's the covenant oath that you're getting ready to exchange. There's the covenant seal that you're gonna exchange in rings. Then there's the covenant friends that's gathered here today to witness the covenant that you're making with each other. I lied, according to the word of God, to leave my father and my mother and join myself to you, to be a husband to you. I, Krista, according to the word of God, submit myself to you. 
to be a wife to you in Jesus Christ. So Father, we, we bless this union today. We thank you for your spirit, your holy presence that has been activated as Elijah and Krista shared their covenant vows. May your blessings rest upon them in every way from the physical realm, Lord, uh, to the spiritual realm. Lord, that you were gonna go with them in all of their ways, and we thank you for it in Jesus' name. Now you get a kiss her. So if you'll turn and face everybody there, I am delighted to present to you this evening, Mr. and Mrs. Elijah Fowler, everybody. Let's rejoice. You're an answered prayer. Of all the things I have been told about you, the only one thing that really mattered to me and made the absolute difference, I knew you were like David a man after God's own heart. 